Hi, Mark Stein, MSI Guns, Roseville, California. Hey, one of the things that comes up all the time that a lot of new gun buyers don't realize is anytime you pick up a firearm uh, for delivery at a gun store in California, you have to do a safe gun handling demonstration. That is, unless you have a concealed carry permit. So, what I thought I would do is I would share with you what a safe gun handling demonstration is all about so that when you come to pick up your gun, we keep the stress down low and we can get through it in an efficient manner. So whenever you pick up a gun, we want to pick it up with the full firing grip. That's the, these three fingers all on the front strap up tight against the trigger guard. And then you want to find an index point on the frame for your trigger finger. Because we all know the only time you touch the trigger is when you're on target and willing to shoot. Well, in a gun store there's no targets, so let's stay off the trigger. All right. We also want to make sure that we keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. So for uh, those of you that have never been to my store, there's nothing over this way other than a, a wall. So what we're going to do is, first thing we want to do is we don't know if this gun's loaded or not. So we're going to unload the gun. The first step to unloading the gun is to remove the magazine. So we're going to take our thumb and push on the magazine release or if it's an XD like this one, it's ambidextrous, we can push from this side and remove the magazine. So let's set that magazine down. Next thing is we don't know if there's a round in the chamber or not. So the best thing we can do is rack the slide back to clear the chamber. Now what I like to tell people is this is the ejection port. So let's let gravity be our friend. So let's roll the gun over so the ejection port's pointing down. Reach over the top, rack the slide, and that'll clear the chamber. Now we think it's cleared, but we need to now inspect. So we're going to lock the slide to the rear. So on the XDs, there's a slide catch right here. So I'm gonna apply upward pressure with my thumb. So I'm gonna pull the slide to the rear, push up with my thumb, let go of the slide, and then let go of the catch. So I'm gonna pull the slide to the rear, push up with my thumb, let go of the slide, let go with my thumb. All right, so now the slide's locked to the rear. So the next thing we want to do is we want to look and touch to see that there's nothing in the chamber. And then we want to do a magazine check. So again, we're going to look and touch to see that there's nothing in the magazine well. So we do our chamber check. We do our mag check. We know this gun is clear. Does that make sense so far? OK, so let's go ahead and run the slide forward. Uh, I think the best way to run the slide forward is reach over the top behind the ejection port pull back and let it go. So now that, that gun is, uh, the recoil spring's nice and relaxed. You can store the gun like this and not worry about that spring being in a bind. Okay, so now we're gonna pick up the magazine. I'm right-handed, so I hold my mag in my left hand. I'm going to take the round. I'm gonna come in front of these two feed lips. Hopefully you can see that right there. So we're coming in front of the feed lips. We're gonna push down and back. So that's the first round, and then you just rinse and repeat until the magazine's full. But in the case of a demonstration, one round is enough. Oh, and just so that you know, this is a snap cap. Snap caps have no primer in them and no powder in them. So it's just an empty cartridge. So we're going to push that in. Now what I like to do is I like to index the round part of the magazine in the palm of my hand and put my index finger on the tip of the... Uh, on the tip of the bullet. Because sometimes when you're carrying magazines, that round will start to work forward and then it may not fit in the magazine well. But if I always index with my finger up here, I can push it back. Now I'm gonna pick up the gun with firing grip. I'm gonna insert the magazine and drive it all the way in. Don't start it and then tap it. It's one smooth move. So we insert the magazine and then drive it up in. Then we efficiently come right over the top, grab the slide, Gun's pointed in a safe direction, fingers off the trigger. Now we're gonna rack the slide to the rear. I say pull back and hit your shoulder. So now, because the Springfield XD has a loaded chamber indicator, we can see that the chamber's loaded because the indicator is sticking up. Now what's cool about Springfields is they also have what they call a striker status indicator, or what I like to refer to as our cocked striker indicator. So when this little gizmo is sticking out the back, that means it's cocked. When this is sticking up, it means it's loaded. So this gun's ready to fire. All right, so we're gonna attain our full firing grip. 
And then if we were at the range or we were on target, we're gonna go to the trigger, press, press. When we're done shooting and we're coming off target, finger comes off the trigger. Now we need to unload the gun. So we're gonna do everything we did when we started. We're gonna press the magazine release. We're gonna roll and rack to clear the chamber. If the round falls on the floor, we want to leave it on the floor until we've inspected the gun to make sure that it's unloaded. So we're going to lock the slide to the rear, do our chamber check mag check. We know that gun is all clear and it's safe to put away. So one of the other things to keep in mind that a lot of people don't understand about California gun laws is that uh, guns need to be transported in an approved lock container. It's not a locked gun inside an approved container. It's a gun inside an approved lock container. So Springfield ship with a hard plastic case. This is an approved container and it needs to be locked. So what we want to do is we want to place the gun inside the box, close the box, and then I like putting a padlock on the box and I secure it that way. So this is now an approved lock container. Now the guns ship with the cable lock and cable locks typically you would think you'd remove the magazine, lock the slide to the rear, run the cable through the ejection port and through the magazine well. And for the other states of the union that's totally acceptable but in California it's got to be an approved lock container. So don't forget a padlock or you can take that cable lock and wrap it a couple times around the handle. That's also a proof lock container. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick little lesson and look forward to seeing you soon.